you've been working on this for a long time. Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont, who campaigned on legalizing recreational marijuana in his state three years ago, signed into law Tuesday a bill allowing those 21 and older to consume and possess up to an ounce and a half of pot starting a week from Thursday and grow three mature and three immature plants at home in 2023. Connecticut hopes dispensaries in the state start selling marijuana sometime in 2022, perhaps as soon as next May. A Yukon study found marijuana could generate more than three quarters of a billion dollars in tax revenue for Connecticut in just five years. But State Senator Gary Winfield promised that was not the legislature's primary motive. We uh, didn't just talk about equity, but that we built it in. Connecticut's legalization bill mandates half of all licenses to grow and sell weed go to low-income applicants and erases the records of those convicted of possession between the years 2000 and 2015. The state says in an attempt to counter the damage inflicted by the war on drugs, which saw black people in Connecticut arrested for possession at four times the rate of whites, according to the ACLU. I think it is a model for the rest of the nation. Um, we had a chance to learn from others. Connecticut joins 18 other states in legalizing marijuana, including neighbors New York, New Jersey, and Massachusetts. Marijuana remains illegal at the federal level. In Stanford, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.